Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. FOMC Wednesday today, 13 hours from now, so we got a long, long time to wait. These days are often um, difficult for us because, mainly because we're old and trading at night at 8.15, trading, you know, getting fills in the middle of the night, stuff that we used to do pretty regularly in our 20s and 30s and even our early 40s, doesn't really suit anymore, um, but because of the uh, focus on this meeting, we're going to we're going to give it our best shot, take a good long nap this afternoon, maybe after CAD CPI, and um, get ready for this thing. There's sort of three three ways to look at this. There's sort of three outcomes. The, the main outcome is the cut 25 and the neutral presser. The... Um, less talked about outcome certainly in the uh, conventional media yet amongst my friends who are in advisory and, and who do this for a living who study the Fed um, there's an off chance they cut 50 uh, and it's kind of like sort of bazooka approach um, I would say that would shock the hell out of me and then there's also equally an off chance they do nothing also be a shock and so now you have to decide what you want to do with each let's just go to euro dollar and see what we would do with each of these a cut of 25 and I think we're through this trend line in fact I'm pretty sure we're gonna break this trend line today it comes in at 91 the important high is 111.10 um, so cut 25 we're probably gonna ease through this thing cut 50 um, we go to 112 today if they don't cut, uh, we we go to the lows of 109.30. That would also be a surprise. Um, so we're watching this trend line, and we're going to see, you know, we're going to have to play the reactionary game on the cut 25 or 50. As far as fixed income is concerned, which is what we're really focusing on, We'll be selling high ones on ZN today. Um, so on a cut, we think this could revisit this sort of 120, 129, 20 to 30 area. We're sellers. Um, Boons uh, will react less, but will react in sympathy with U.S. fixed income. So again, um, we are selling high ones today. We have offers at 173.40. And we have offers at 174.10. Um, I have a feeling those are not going to get done. We are core short. Whether to add through 172, let's look at this. Um, let's look at the yield more importantly. Whether to add through basically 43 basis points, we don't like it because it looks like a trap. You know, we looks like we have very strong resistance at 40, and we feel like 40 is going to be the big pivot minus 40 basis points so we're happy just to trade this core short we will not be adding on new lows in the futures or new highs in the yield um, but we'll be fading lower yields today what else is out there euro aussie we talked about adding through 161 65 uh, very dicey here we are super uncomfortable as always 64.5 right now effectively we're kind of chickening out on this we have some core longs um, I don't really understand why we're here or what's going on except for the fact that this does look like a big turn right a big turn change in trend and we do like this back up to 166 but I just feel like when you're gonna pay through the highs you need something a little bit more sturdy than 6 a.m. London time on an FOMC focused day there's no dollar component in this trade why would this thing get ahead of steam 
uh, Aussie's not going to collapse right now. There is a risk that Euro does uh, attack this trend line, but we're going to stick with core longs. We're not going to add here. You may regret this, um, but for those who are, have a sturdier constitution than myself or feel like adding some risk, uh, 161, 66 sort of makes sense on paper. Let's look at ES. This is the new contract. This is the DEES. Uh, traded up to 0875, so the gap's been filled. Uh, will we get through the new all-time highs today? I don't know. We will be selling high ones today, so up around 28. Um, if it reaches through, we'll be selling back through 28, um, and then we will also be selling through 84 today. Right now, we're sort of neutral. We tried to get short through 3,000. We've been trading it on the short side. No gains, no losses. You know, we switched contracts. So, I mean, this is effectively at 3,000 now in the old contract. Um, but it's all been sort of one grand scratch. We made some peanuts, but... We'll be selling high ones today. We don't believe in this. Um, we'll have to see. There will be loads of vol in S&P for the FOMC. What else is out there? Dollar-Yen. We got BOJ tomorrow, so this is tough. We had an interesting print, that uh, Gravestone Doji on um, yesterday. If you're a true technician, you just want to bang them out through the lows. Or... And I remind you all, if you're just tra trading this purely technically, you also are buying through the highs. So you pick your, you just wait and wait for your confirmation, either highs or lows. Um, our focus is going to be more on Euro dollar today, but that is an interesting bar there, uh, a very tradable daily technical bar. There'll be a lot of people looking at that. So if you feel like trading dollar yen, keep your eye on it. Let's go to Euro Swiss. We broke this 70 level, closing at the highs here. Looks like to me that um, the market's going to get is kind of getting ready for the SMB to to cut rates. I, I I'm I'm a little bit confounded with what they're going to do. I really don't know. Um, but the locals here are selling Swiss francs right now. I don't know why, um, but they are. They're long Euro Swiss. It could be the fact that ECB is maybe done with their easing cycle. I don't know. Uh, but this broke and closed on the highs. SMB later in the week. Something to watch. We'll talk about it, I guess, tomorrow um, as we approach the, the time. Incredibly confusing, dollar Swiss and uh, Euro Swiss. What else is out there? Stocks, bonds, Euros. You know, it's I, I don't want to get too stuck in with you know with trade ideas going into this day because it, this is a day you want to be quiet and you want to rest, save your save your energy and save your bullets for tonight. Our main focus is going to be this Euro trend line. Um, we do have some core on, we're core short fixed income, we're core long Euro Aussie. Um, that's about it. Uh, yeah, let me take a look at this crude. We talked about it yesterday in our interview with Dale that incredibly tricky crude. Um, you know, looks like it's going to go to the moon. All the characters are, are lunatics. There's no way you were going to solve this. And now, um, out of the blue, Saudi's saying that their oil fields are kind of getting back on track more quickly. Uh, Trump is not going to uh, send an airstrike. He's thinking about some sort of financial sanctions, which is basically is is basically saying I don't want to get involved with this. Uh, so now it looks like to me the risk in crude is much much lower, very very quickly. Uh, we put this uh, 5850 low in 
we do not have we're not trading this we haven't been trading this but I would be incredibly careful if you're long um, even though it's a hornet's nest over there and looks pretty crappy the sort of worst case scenario uh, military action looks like it's off the table um, and certainly there'll be a lot of people who are long because two days ago this looked like it was going to a hundred um, and now there'll still be people who are stuck in that bias and when people get stuck in biases in the markets normally they get they get burned so I mean, if I were to be trading this I would be I would sell th through the lows here 58.50 but I am not uh, I've got other other pots on the stove um, but be careful crude this looks like it's gonna be a total fuck fest um, and which side is the fuck fest it's the downside uh, so nobody is short crude after that open on Sunday night all right I've said enough uh, FOMC obviously the main the main event today we do have CPI out in Canada, which will be a mover. Um, get some rest today. Keep it light. And uh, let's get ready to plunge tonight, depending on uh, how uh, Powell and his crowd decide on U.S. rates. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. I will um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.